Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. And tonight, we have a volcanic warning and an update to bring you up to speed on a very dangerous volcano that has become active, and that is Santiago Ito Volcano in Gua Guatemala. The intense activity is continuing. More and more pyroclastic flows are now in progress on the flank of Santa Maria. Now, not a lot of people know about Santa Maria. Now, Santa Maria is a large active volcano in the western highlands of Guatemala. In the Quetzalcoatl department near the city of Quetzalcoatl. The, vo the volcano was known as Gagchunul uh, in the local Kichi language before the 16th century Spanish conquest came and, well, murdered everybody. Now, the VEI-6 eruption of Santa Maria is not very well known, and it occurred in 1902. It's one of the three largest eruptions of the 20th century, and I bet you never heard of it. And this is after the 1912 Nova Erupta and the 1991 Mount Punatubo eruptions. It's also one of the five biggest eruptions in likely thousands of years. Very little is known about the eruption. And here are some pictures, very few pictures of that eruption as it began, because after it began, it was over. Now, the Santa Maria volcano is part of the Sierra Madre range of volcanoes, which extends along the western edge of Guatemala, separated from the Pacific Ocean by a broad plain. The volcanoes are formed in the subduction of the Cocos Plate under the Caribbean Plate. And here we have a geologic map to bring you up to speed. Uh, this subduction leads to the formation of the Central American Volcanic Arc, where there are tons and tons of volcanoes erupting currently. There's Durango, which is just an hour from here. Only that's the wrong one. We're up here. <laughs> now, eruptions of the Santa Maria are estimated to have begun about 103,000 years ago. So this volcano has been around for quite some time. And let me just bring you up to speed on more information. Construction of the volcanic edifice occurred in four phases from 103 to 72 kilo years ago, 72,000 years ago, 60 to 46,000 years ago, and 35 to 25,000 years ago, all correlating with very bumpy rides in our Ice Age past. Now, the main volcanic complex is Santa Maria, which was here, which was actually higher until the 1902 eruption, which blew a hole in its side, similar to Mount St. Helens. And the new complex here with the main cone is Santiago Huito, which simply means a uh, citizen of Santiago, Chile. But that's not where we are here. We're in Guatemala. So who knows why they named it that? It also can mean little lobster and many other things. But Santiago Huito is the new complex forming off the flanks of the erupted 1902 Santa Maria. Now, the first eruption of Santa Maria is recorded in history in October of 1902. Who knew? And there it is. Boom! Before 1902, the volcano had been dormant for at least 500 years. But now it's back and it's getting active. And that's why we're doing this video for you. Now, it had been dormant for at least 500 years, but many geologists think that the volcano was dormant for thousands of years, and the awakening was clearly indicated by a seismic swarm in the region that started in January of 1902, which included major earthquakes in April of 1902, and then the eruption began on the 24th of October of 1902. The largest explosion occurred over the following two days, ejecting an estimated 8 cubic kilometers. That's 1.9 cubic miles of magma. Compare that to the La Palma eruption, and that's barely a blip. Now, this eruption was one of the largest of the 20th century, only slightly less magnitude than Pinatubo in 1991. The eruption had a VEI explosive index of VEI-6, 
thus being colossal, as we can see here. Now, the pumice formed in the climatic eruption fell over an area of about 273,000 square kilometers. It blasted up into the stratosphere and, well, it cooled the planet. Volcanic ash was as far away as San Francisco, 4,400 kilometers away. The eruption occurred out of a vent on the southwest side of the volcano, which is where Santa Guito is currently sitting. And that doesn't, well, it's just bad news. So let's quickly take a look at the eruption and what occurred. For the native people, the eruption consequences were catastrophic, and today it would be even worse. They not only lost relatives, friends, homes, and harvest, but they were also forced as slaves to work on the recovery while their landlords were compensated for the loss with lands that were confiscated from the native communities in San Miguel, Usamtan, Quiche Department, Panama. I don't even know how to say that, but these people were robbed. I think it might be a little different today, but if we come look at the eruptive history here, we can see that it's very limited. So before the 1902 eruption, there was no eruptions potentially for thousands of years, and then it kicked off with a VEI-6 boom, followed by a VEI-2 aftershock, and then a VEI-3 a few decades later, and now it's reactivated, which is bad news. Because in that 1902 eruption, here's 1900, if we just take a look at the annual global surface temperature of Earth, we can see that Santa Guito is responsible for almost a half a degree drop in temperature worldwide. This is a worldwide graph of the global surface temperature on Earth. And Santa Guito has to do with this drop down. It did that. It was already dropping and then it occurred here and then it continued to drop it to the lowest temperature for hundreds of years. Santa Guito did that. Santia Guito. And now we have Santia Guito puffing and passing again. Here is the Santia Guito volcanic complex puffing recently. And now we have massive pyroclastic flows coming down the dome complex. Now here's the original Santa Maria, and I would expect that it looked more like this before it blew up at VEI 6, connecting somehow here. But now we have the Santia Guito complex with El Brujo, El Monie, La Mitad, and Caliente. That's the hot one. And that's the one we're looking for the big boom. We're not actually looking for a big boom, but because we are geologists, climatologists, we are worried about the big boom. And the fact that intense activity continues, more and more pyroclastic flows are now in progress over the last 24 hours. You can see this on the volcano. And this was the precursor to the big VEI-6 event 119 years ago. The number of large earthquakes have been occurring in the Lava Dome area since the 11th of December. Now remember, in the VEI-6 eruption, the earthquakes happened six, eight months before the big boom. So we could be leading up to a big boom here in under a year. Now, a number of large earthquakes have been occurring in the Lava Dome since the 11th of December that were felt by residents, nearby communities. They're all dead if this goes off big, instantly. So... I don't know if they're going to evacuate the area or what, but because this is a developing story that has just happened in the last few hours, the extrusive activity of the volcano is intensifying at the west-southwest part of the dome. This is where the big eruption happened in 1902. This continues to culminate in frequent glowing to moderate to strong block and ash flows traveling over the south, southwest, and southeastern slopes. Now, none of this occurred in the 1902 eruption because the volcano hadn't erupted for thousands of years. So this is a new development because there is those domes there that we showed you in the Santa 
Santiago retail complex, including Caliente, which is now where those pyroclastic flows are coming down the side of that cone. Now, what does it mean for you or, or I? Well, it just means to prepare for what may be imminent. Frequent glowing to moderate, strong block ash flows are traveling over the south, southwest, southeastern slopes. An incandescence in the lava dome is associated with this process. Strong explosive eruptions produce steam, gas, and ash plumes, which reach almost 15,000 feet altitude and drift at 30 kilometers to the west of the volcano. Now, if this pops at VEI 4, 5, 6, or greater, it will be in an instant like the last eruption at Santiago. Without pause, it went boom, well, and the population was doomed, which may be the same case in the near future here in Guatemala. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when I may be the only geologist and climatologist willing to go out on a limb to warn you of impending doom from historic volcanoes like Santa Maria, which is now called Santia Huito, to erase the fact of what happened back in 1902. Who knew? Now you do. And that's a boom to science. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And tell all the naysayers to suck it. Because that's what we do. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. It's only going to get worse. Censorship, misinformation, indoctrination. Welcome to the one world government nation. <laughs>